government, that government has become the problem. Government cannot give you the solution to this mass chemical contamination and environmental destruction and human health destruction that's taking place because of biosludge. It's even worse than you might suppose. These institutions are run by people who are all part of a, uh, really a worldwide effort to try to depopulate the planet. It's, it's openly talked about now in many circles. They believe, uh, these scientists and these high-level globalist bureaucrats, they believe that there are too many humans living on the planet. And they literally want to eliminate uh, six billion people, maybe more, depending on who you're talking to. And because they think that the sustainability of, of the Earth can only be achieved through drastic reductions of uh, population. And there are documentaries out there that, that are worth watching on this, the population bomb, population explosion. Uh, you can go back to the work of, of course, Ehrlich back in the 1970s, who warned about this. But ask yourself, you are part of that population that's living today. How do you suppose the powers that be might eliminate six billion people from the planet? To accomplish that, they either have to achieve mass infertility or mass death. Those are the only two options. And when you look at this practice of the mass poisoning of our soils and our food supply and our environment, you can't help but ask, is this deliberate? Is this a mechanism by which the human population is being exposed to an incredible array of toxins, not just chemical, but biological? Uh, think about it. Every biological uh, weapon system, let's say, that is dropped into the sewer system is then automatically spread by cities to the countryside all across America. You saw the documentary that the biosludge waste from New York City and New Jersey and other places on the East Coast gets spread all across America. This is the mass chemical poisoning of the American people, and it is deliberate. And there is a cover-up. And every institution that's in power today is working against humanity. And this is a realization that very few people have come to. The government will not save you. Voting Democrat or Republican will not save you. Asking science to solve this problem will not save you because science is sweeping this under the rug. Going to the medical institutions will not save you. They profit from disease. They profit from cancer and Alzheimer's. They have no incentive to eliminate this chemical exposure. The agriculture giants, they have no interest in solving this problem because it's their poisons that are in the food supply. They are part of the problem. Uh, Bayer, Monsanto, you name it. There is no institution. The media won't tell you the truth about this. The environmentalists are too focused on climate change. Even the tech giants, they censor all this information. Facebook, Google, YouTube, and Twitter. Uh, they've been censoring my work for years. YouTube completely shut off my video channel earlier this year so that you could not see the videos that I'm producing. Videos that warn humanity about what's coming, about what's happening. Uh, YouTube is evil. Google is intensely evil. Facebook is evil. And they will censor anybody who, who talks about the true story of what's happening with biosludge today. Because they, they do not support the environment. They do not support independent journalism. They do not support real science. They are controlled censors. They are controlled tyrants. They are authoritarians. And anyone who dares to question the status quo, even if that status quo is engaged in the mass murder of humanity, they will be silenced, censored, shut down, shut off the internet, and, and viciously attacked on top of that, smeared, slandered, you name it. I've had all that happen to me, which is why I've put out this film, 